let's look at selecting properties in Star Analyzer. Now, as you'll notice here, we have a lot of properties. Most people only have three or four or five, but some people really get a few. Let's look at the Add button for a minute. So when you put a property in, you pick an analysis type, either purchase and hold, discounted purchase, fix and flip, or existing portfolio. Then you pick a property type, single family, multifamily or apartment, and mall or office building. Well, one reason you select analysis type and property type is because the calculations and data input are different. Another reason you pick them is for sorting your properties. So let's take a look at that. So here we have purchase and hold. If I click on this, the pull down will show you this little thing. Again, on this uh, video editor, the pull down doesn't work, but here's our property types. So I'm going to select discounted purchase. And you see we only have two fix and flip, just one existing portfolio, just two and purchase and hold the bulk of them. And so if you don't if you have a lot of properties pick the analysis type you're interested in then you have property types and again the pull down for this is single family multifamily and commercial so if you look at property types single family we have not too many multifamily quite a few and commercial quite a few so what you do is you select analysis type analysis type and property type to filter or limit the number of properties you're seeing. Now I'm going to go back to all property types. Now person and keyword. Let's take a look at this. These are people that um, have been assigned to these properties and if I want to see what properties Richard Sandberg has, I can select Richard. And there's only one property Richard has. So we'll go back here and say show properties for all people. And then keywords are like people, you can use them the same way. In this case, keywords, apartments, commercial, all of use. So you can put any kind of sorting, filtering function you want here. Let's see what he has for multi-use. There's only one multi-use purchase and hold property. Let's go back and select them all. So you get the idea of uh, select the kinds of properties and filter them down till you see just the ones you're interested in. Now sorting is another matter. If you click the sort by control, you'll see a pop-up that looks like this. And you have lots of different ways to sort. The top ways sort by address and by the value shown. And the bottom set sort just by the value shown, ignoring the address. So let's see how that works. We can sort by address or by description, by the date the property was modified, and uh, let's say purchase price. Now in this case things get interesting because this is a sort by purchase price but also a sort by address. So you can see down here for this address we have a number of different properties and a number of different purchase prices. And so this is useful when you have a lot of property nested under another property. Another way to sort is by purchase price without showing the copies. This is every single property by purchase price. Okay, so the best way to learn these is to practice practice with them. But uh, this uh, is how we select properties.